Evening Hot Dog Podcast in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Welcome to the uh, Jet Out Podcast, where normal is not my specialty. I am your host, the seriously conflicted Adam Higgins, the Odd Dad Out. You can find me at odddadoutpodcast.com and at Odd Dad Out and all the social media places. And this is the show where I ramble and rant and just empty my brain for your listening, entertaining, weird sort of observational kind of pleasure, I guess. Do you get pleasure from listening to me? I don't know. <sighs> so, yeah, I, I, I don't want to keep coming on here every week and saying how much the school situation is stressing me out because, well, the school situation is stressing me out. And I, I know I'm not alone in this. It's It's kind of the way of the world right now. And... It is kind of coming to a point now where besides, you know, just the general stressing and freaking out that we've been doing, it's now kind of creating a point that the changes have to be made on our end to accommodate the school. And it sucks. Because, I mean... And it sounds selfish to say, but we shouldn't be having to change our lives so that our kids can go to school, so that our kids can get their education. You know, that. but that is the world we're in today. You know, and so... You know, I've talked the last few weeks about how we've tried changing my work schedule or like my kind of sleep schedule and our our life schedule and how the boys are going to be with my wife in certain parts of the day or like the little boys and then I'm handling other parts of the day. And so I can sleep because I work nights and my wife works in the day and all of the things. And a lot of it, we just keep going back to thinking, most people can't do this. So as much as this is a problem for us, we actually have a life that can accommodate this. We have a work-life home situation that can accommodate this. And if you're in a, you know, single income home and you have somebody who's home all day and can manage the kids. Yeah, fine. You can do that. But, you know, there, I'm, I know I'm not the only parent that works overnights. And, you know, there, I know there are going to be plenty of other parents who are currently working, who are sitting here with their kids, who have, in this school, who have the same issues we do where they're like, how the fuck am I going to have my kids get their lessons done? How are the, my kids who were now have eight hours of school via video supposed to get everything done every day if I'm at work? And we're kind of in a position now where we are having to change and and consider making serious changes for at work so that we can accommodate just being able to keep the boys in their lessons so they don't fall behind in school and that's kind of fucked um uh in in, in simplest terms my wife has kind of taken some hits at work because it's having the boys in here with her while she's working is a distraction and it affects her ability to get her work done. And I can't be with them all the time during the day because I work at night. 
And because their work or their school schedule is such where they're now in class so much later than they were in the fall or back in the, the springtime when all this bullshit started. So they have live lessons for so much of the day. There's no working around it as far as, hey, we can, you know, back back in March, we could sit down and here's the lessons for the day. They could have all their lessons done for the day by 12 if they did it. And that wasn't a problem. They do their lessons. It's, you know, come lunchtime, they're, for the most part, they're done with their work. They might have one or two assignments that take later. But for the most part, they're done with their work by lunchtime. And we can get on with the day. It's annoying for me because I had to be up early with them in the morning. But I still get to sleep in the afternoon. Still get to get normal housework done. Get dinner made. It didn't hurt us too much. Now, they have live lessons all day. And they're basically in school all day, which means I don't have an opportunity in there to sleep because I need to be with them, especially the little boys, getting them in their lessons, making sure they have the books they need, getting their lessons turned in, making sure they're signing into class. And my wife really can't be doing that because she's supposed to be working. And so now it looks like we're going to be trying to do some adjustments with her work schedule. There may be some adjustments to my work schedule. My working days could be changing to make it so that I'm not having to work, you know, Tuesday through Friday while the boys are also in school Tuesday through Friday forcing me to be up all night for work and all day for school stuff and maybe have two hours of sleep a day. I run on almost no sleep, but that's bad even for me. And anybody who's been listening to me long enough knows that when I start getting really sleep deprived is when I start getting sick. And that's the same sort of stuff that has resulted in me breaking my ribs from sick, coughing, Two times. And I broke probably four ribs, but twice this has happened to me where I would get, I'd overwork myself, I'd get sick, I'd be so weak that I'm not get, I wouldn't get any better. I'd be sick for weeks on end. I'd end up getting, you know, heavy coughs and all this stuff. I'd crack a rib. And before I recovered fully, I'd end up cracking another one. And this has happened two years. It didn't happen in the last year, and I'm very happy about that. But that's also a matter of me trying to keep on top of it because we all realized that it was from me overworking myself. In part is me stepping away from the show when I have to. Um, In part, it's me being aware of sometimes I need to sleep. And, you know, that's life. And I'm always that asshole who's going to say, you know, I know I can get up, I can do it. And I'm the asshole who's been fighting with my wife for the last week saying the only option we have is for me to take the boys in the morning and be up with them in the morning. And because I'm a stubborn asshole and my wife has basically got to out stubborn me and beat me over the head with the, if you do this, you will die, which she's not wrong. You know, it's just as much a, you're going to work yourself sick as much as it's, you're going to be so sleep deprived, you're going to crash the car, either driving to work or driving home from work or driving around for work or get so sick, you're going to get, end up in the hospital again. And she's not wrong. And right now it's because of the boys school. And that's kind of fucked. It is what it is. And so right now, I'm I'm coming to the decision right now that 
due to all of this and everything going on, I'm going to have to step away from the show. I don't know for how long. I don't know if this is going to be the last episode of the show. I don't know if this is going to be the end of the podcast entirely. Um, I really don't. I don't know. You know, we, we've been bouncing around ideas right now. Of just how can we make it work so that I can sleep and be able to work and she can work. And we even, you know, sat there and tried to figure out, okay, well, if I were editing podcasts full time, which was always a goal, you know, it was a goal before that once all of the boys were in school, I would take on more clients. I would be editing podcasts full time because I wouldn't have anybody home during the day. I'd be able to work and I'd be able to work full time editing podcasts in the day and I'd be able to work at night on my regular job and eventually phase them out to where I'd be able to take on more clients in the day. And as I'm taking on more clients, go part time at my night job until I can kind of you know, fade across until I'm only working from home. That was always the goal. And we even looked at, okay, well, how many people, how many clients would I have to have at how much a month and all this stuff would I have to do in order to um, quit my job and be able to just work from home? So I'd be home and I'd be able to like, hey, I can edit at night. That's not a problem. I can work overnights and I can do this. But the problem is, I, I would need, you know, I'd need to pick up like eight clients immediately to be able to quit my job. And I don't have that or even four or five right now to, and be editing full time five podcasts, like an hour episode for five people a week to be able to even remotely come close to going part-time to be able to go part-time at my other job. And I can't do that right now. I just can't. And we can't afford that transition. And as much as I want to get into and start working with audiobooks and doing that stuff, because of all of this other crap going on and, and the needing to be here with the boys and doing all this, that's all had to take a backseat too. I can't record, I can't edit, I can't promote, I can't market, I can't do any of that stuff when I can't fulfill any of those sort of things. Like, I'm not actively pursuing taking on editing clients right now, and I've actually lost two opportunities in the last week for editing clients because at the end of the day, I can't do it. I don't have any time. And... You know, I, I have uh, a part coming up in a audio drama podcast I've talked about before. I'm not going to mention it right now until it comes up. But, you know, I've got parts to record for another show. And as much anytime, if, you know, somebody wants me to do that, I'm I'm happy to do it. And it's much less of a time um restriction, I guess. It's less time consuming for me to do that as a one-off or here and there as it is for me to have to commit to taking on another editing client or five or 10 of them right now. Granted, if I were able to right now to take on 10 clients, I would quit my job. I would because I could. And that would be amazing. I would be, it would be awesome if I could get 10 editing clients right now. But I can't. And so I don't know. But I know that it, we're in a something's got to give situation where my only option right now is I have to put the show on hold. 
I have to commit to putting whatever available time I have for sleep and rest into sleep and rest because all of that time is now far more at a premium than it was six or nine months ago. You know, I'm, I'm, I've always been somebody who sleeps very little. You know, my, my Fitbit sleep goal is five hours a night. And I'll, I'll let you know, I don't usually hit it. And that counts my naps during the day. And I basically, I, I don't even have that. Um, so whatever we've got to do so that we can accommodate the boys' school lessons so that I'm still able to work, so that my wife is still able to work, nobody's getting in trouble, you know, we can still pay the bills and keep a roof over our head. We, you know, we got to do that. And unfortunately, this show and a lot of other things that aren't so immediate are going to have to take a, a, uh, they're going to have to step aside for a while. So I don't know if this show is coming back and it sucks because especially like I'm so close to 200 episodes and I was super excited when I realized that and realized that that would be if I were able to keep going every week that that would be right around the time of our vacation that would be right around the time that the boys are scheduled to start school in person as even though it's part time it'd still be you know scheduling their in person class but right now the way life is the way school is the way work is for everybody me staying up on any given night of the week or spending any time sitting down to record a podcast as much as I love doing this and as much as I know there are people out there, those of you out there, probably those listening right now that for some reason have committed to listening to me are that, that actually want to listen to me and actually enjoy this, whatever the hell I'm doing as kind of dreary and drab as it's been the last few weeks. And I'm sorry for that. I've just kind of been stressing out and I, I feel bad I, and I am sorry that I've kind of dumped on you guys for the last few weeks, just with me being so stressed about all of this. Um, but you know, something's got to give. And the only thing that I have to give is the show. That's the only place right now I have that I can give up and it sucks this this has been so important to me and it's been it's mattered so much and I've loved doing this for the past five years and like I said I don't know if the show is coming back. I don't know how, if it does. And I know I've said this before, and it's always, at this point, it's always been related to all this Corona bullshit and how it's, you know, turned everything upside down. You know, it happened in the spring where I couldn't record because I'm having to deal with my kids home from school, my wife home, working from home. And I, and now it's turned up to 11. And before I could accommodate and I could try and work through it and push through it 
but now I don't have the room. I do not have the, the physical and mental bandwidth left right now to be able to fulfill my home obligations, my obligations to my family and to my kids. I mean, they're part of my family. It's redundant, whatever. Leave me alone. To home life and work and my boys' school and everything and to still be able to produce this podcast and not suffer physically. Because I know that if I continue to try and push myself to do this and to work with them and be and do what they need and give them what they need, then I'm going to work myself sick and I won't have any time to sleep. There will be no rest for the wicked. There will be no anything. And I didn't want to do this. I didn't want to come on here and be mopey like this. And I didn't want to be so serious this time. And I really wanted to come on and have fun and joke and talk about what's going on in the garden and building trellises for the watermelons and cucumbers and get to share all this stuff with you and share with you when we finally harvest our watermelon or when our pumpkins are blooming again or, you know, all of the everything, whatever we've got going on and wanting to share that with you. But I, I can't right now. I just can't. So I'm not going to keep rambling about it because I mean, it, it is what it is. I've said what I've said. Um, it sucks. It sucks a lot. And honestly, I I avoided recording this for an entire day because I didn't want to do it. But I'd rather say that I've got to take an indefinite break than just not be around and quit. So... I'm going to stop. I'm going to go to sleep while I can. I'm going to get up in the morning and take care of my boys and get them ready for school and do what I can to do what I can. And hopefully I won't have to be away for too long. And I'll be able to come back and do something with this and make something of this. I don't know. But until that time, I just want to say thank you. Because you have given me a reason to be here for the last five years. And even when I've been so, well, like this, and when I've had low moments and when I've struggled and when I've, when I didn't think there was, I, I've said it before, I don't have a huge audience. You, you listening right now are a rare breed but I, you've given me a reason to keep going every week. And if I didn't have, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with it. I, I wish I didn't have to take this away from you. Yeah, it's selfish because I do this for me too. 
I love doing this. But I, I hate to take away something that you enjoy as well. And for that, I'm sorry. And I don't know if I'm coming back. Because I don't know when the world will put it back, self back together in a way that I will be able to come back for my own health. And maybe I'll come back and say, hey, I've fixed my life and I've, I'm a professional podcast editor now and I'm, you know, saving the world one podcast at a time. I don't know. Or listen to me on this show or this, you know, you can listen by my latest audiobook or something. I don't know. And maybe I'll get to come back for that. And maybe I'll get to come back in a few weeks and say, hey, we figured our shit out. The world is a fucked place right now. And, and it's, I realize this is all gloom and doom and I sound like I'm dying. And again, I'm sorry. I don't mean to. But this is the first time I've seriously not known if or when the show's coming back. Because I just can't continue on with it. With the, the world situation, how it is, and my life situation, how it is, I can't continue with it. I need to sleep. I need to take care of my family. I need to keep a roof over my head. And until I can do that, without hurting myself I have to walk away and I'm pretty sure I've said all of this in different wording about 10 times by now so I will just say thank you again and I hope to see you on the other side of this sooner rather than later And for hopefully not the last time, thank you and good night.